Hello, good afternoon, guys. Welcome to MK Canadian's Brokerage. My name is Mohammed. In this video, I'm going to explain to you about the level first insurance slash agent profile. So basically, I'm going to explain to you what level first is, what it's used for, how to fill out the properly, fill out the agent profile. So level first is an insurance company that a broker slash agent might use to quote their insurance insurance items such as homeowner, um, commercial, etc. So much more. Um, I'm going to show you how to fill out the form. Um, so obviously you can see here name of firm, whichever insurance broker slash agency you work for, you write that name down. Obviously the address, the telephone number, the basic pedigree information, the federal identification number or your social security number, your email address. Then section over here, number, number of years in business, obviously all this Good stuff, write it down. Obviously, you should know number of suits, number of branches. If you have more than one, you write that all that down. Over here, name of principal. If you're the CEO slash president, you write that down and you title whatever it is. These are some of the questions. If you have, if you have, any, have you have any of your member been any type of rec received disciplinary action by state insurance department? Yes or no. Has a firm ever had an agency contract canceled by a company? Yes or no. These are some of the things that you have to fill out. One this section over here listing in states in which the firm is licensed. If your license is more than one state, obviously write that down. Are you a surplus line broker? Yes or no. Are you a retail or wholesale broker? Yes or no. Total agency volume, personal lines, and commercial lines. If you're only going to be doing commercial lines, obviously you don't write 100%. This you can leave blank. What is your target market account size from zero to 100,000? Whatever it is. Obviously, you write down whatever the amount over here is most likely going to be with you. Is a company for your agency to inspect, review, and short risk? Yes or no? Write that down. Once you fill that out, you go to the next agent profile page. Does your agent have? Does your agency have email? Yes. Does your agency supply each employee with an individual email address? Obviously, yes. If not, then no. Whatever it is, you basically fill out the basic pedigree over here. This section is name of EO carrier. If you're ever going to be becoming an agent or broker, you need errors and omission. Without that, most insurance companies will not work with you. You will need to show your errors and omission deck page. Once you have that, then obviously they're going to ask you for your limits and they're going to ask you for whatever amount is covered. Errors and omission for those people that don't know what it is, check out my channel. I explain to this in much in depth. But errors and omission going through this part. I'm going to go through shortly and briefly and hopefully you'll be able to get it. It's basically used for those individuals that let's say for example if you insured a client's homeowner policy but you forgot to add one thing and so, and that because of that one thing the client's home end up getting burned and they couldn't get anything. They could personally sue you. Errors and mission insurance is meant for this purposes to help you protect you while you know because of your neglect which means that they'll pay out for that person's homeowner insurance from your insurance policy because you have that E and O insurance. Keep that in mind, it's, it's, it's a must. You don't have that, then no one's going to deal with you as a broker slash agent. Once you have that part, list a bank reference with the telephone number. All this part, is to, to, this, this is for those people that are trying to get direct deposit. Once this company approves you, you can put that down. You can put down basic information if you want. Again, your signature, your name, title, and date, all that down, write it down. Once you fill this part out, you'll get a lot of uh, level first brokerage agreement. This is an agreement between you and the insurance company. Um, I, uh, If you guys are the people, which is including myself, tell me people that skip through it and go through and end up signing it, never do that. Always read through everything. There's something you might not end up liking it. You might say, you know what, this is not what I, uh, what I signed up for, but you already signed it. Highly recommend either showing this to a lawyer, obviously show them to them and see what it, what they could do and what it is. If not, then read it on your own very, very carefully. This is the direct collections, the line the commissions, all this. You want to learn how much your commissions they're going to be sharing with you, what it is, what's going on. You need to know all that part because it's best to know rather than not to know. I highly recommend reading it. Um, advertising. Um, waiver or default severability no responsibility to guarantee some insurance carriers uh, might not take responsibility if you end up uh, you know making a mistake they want to put you 100% on your blame on you keep that in mind once you sign this contract 
this is what they stated you will be responsible so read it again read it carefully read it basically perfectly so you know what you're getting yourself into this is the editor's admission coverage obviously like i told you before uh, marketing terms hold harmless these are some things that you guys need to read this on your own in order for you to properly understand what it is alternate dispute resolution the, like i'll read a little bit to you the parties to this agreement hereby express that all disputes controversies or claims of any kind of a nature between the parties here to arising odd or any way related to this agreement its interpretation performance or brand shall be resolved exclusively by the following dispute resolution mechanism all this over here read through it because it might concern you as well again this is the uh, confidential producer profile check because again please check one corporation partnership so partnership you want that down your federal tax ID number again your social security number if you're an individual you write that down this is the premium uh, and uh, account information producer again this is all this till the last page over here once you fill it out you write down your producer's name obviously your name by title obviously your owner president the date once you fill this part out you're done and obviously once you give it to them they'll look into it and if they want you they'll take you if not then that's it you can't do anything about it to be honest with you you just have to you're on their mercy at this point so most most insurance carriers will take you but if, if you ha if they find something that you didn't disclose to them they'll automatically reject you and they won't take you that's uh, that's how it is um, but other than that hopefully I explain to you guys how to fill out the agent profile I just, hopefully I know I didn't explain much about the about the agreement but the agreement is too much guys you have to read this on your own I can't read every part of it it's too exhausting and it's too it's too freaking long I'm not gonna lie to you so it's best off just read through it on your own read through it and if you guys don't understand it get a lawyer it might take 50 bucks to get a lawyer but it's, at least you know what you're doing if not then obviously read it on your own don't you don't have to sign it right then and there you can wait a couple of days you can make them wait it's not a problem as long as you read through it and you know what you're getting in as, then you know what it is take a highlight highlight this part you know what if you don't understand call the company ask them listen what do you mean by this what do you mean by that you know it's always good to know and better not to know with that being said thank you again guys for watching this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any other questions comment concern please comment like subscribe i'll try my best on my part to help you out to clarify any confusion you guys have Thank you again guys for watching this video, hopefully you guys enjoyed it.